I'm going to try to do in this video is explain to you and demonstrate the new procedures for signing up to use the laptop lab. Uh, last year we had a reservation system that used a Google Doc and um, from the teacher perspective that worked really well but it was a little bit of a nightmare to manage for Susan. Um, so hopefully using Google Calendar this year will we'll take out some of that um, some of those problems. So that's why we're switching. Uh, it's actually fairly simple to make a reservation but it does require a couple of steps first to get the calendar set up and that's what I want to show you right now. Because this is on a video of course you can pause at any time and practice what I'm showing you. You can rewind the video and watch something again if you missed it the first time. If at the end of this video you're still confused, just let me know. I'd be happy to uh, work with you in person to get your calendar set up. All right, first thing, you need to go to uh, google.com and get signed into your District 103 account. Um, from here to get to calendar, there's a couple of things you can do. You can click on the little boxes here and click calendar. Or if you prefer, you can just type this URL into the box here, calendar.google.com. Because I use Google Calendar extensively, you can see I have a lot of events here. Yours may be empty if you never use it, that's okay. So the first thing we need to do is um, subscribe to the calendar that shows when the laptop lab is reserved and when it's vacant. And to do that, we have to look down here to other calendars. These are the calendars that I've made personally. These are other people's calendars that I'm subscribed to. I click on the triangle and choose Browse Interesting Calendars. You've got religious holidays, sports, and under more, the third option here, you will see resources for d103.org. Just open that. And right now we have three different resources. The one we're interested in today is the Sprague Laptop Lab. You click subscribe. And when it turns to unsubscribe, you know you've been successful. Then you can click back to calendar. Now what you'll see under other calendars, you, uh, you should see the Sprague, to Sprague Laptop Lab appear on the list here. And I can already see a few people with this, this yellow calendar, a few people have uh, made that reservation. So let's practice making a reservation. First thing you need to do is uh, kind of decide when you're going to be reserving the laptop lab and, and you can uh, create an event right here in the overview mode uh, by blocking out the time and then entering the details or if you prefer you can click the create button and it brings you into this detail view here. Either way, we do need to get to that point. So I'm just going to pretend I'm reserving the laptop lab for these times. And we do need to edit the event. We can't just put a title in here and say create event. There's a couple of little clicks we need to do inside the calendar. So the most important thing to do is make sure that we're connecting this to the Sprague laptop lab calendar. So click on rooms over here. And you should see Sprague laptop lab. And I'm going to click add. So now it's over here, Sprague Laptop Lab. And for the event title, probably is a good idea to put your name so people can get in contact with you if they need to ask you something. Um, if you want to manage the time in more detail here, you can go ahead and type in whatever time you like. And I think it would be a useful to everybody if you could provide a very brief description about what you're doing. Uh, perhaps using World Book Online for social studies research okay that would be enough I think and then when you're happy click save and it brings you back out to the calendar now you'll see what happened here the green boxes are my events these orange boxes here are the laptop lab reservations now it looks like it's done it twice here but really what it's doing is putting on my calendar and the laptop lab calendar you can see here this reservation has been made um, by another teacher and that's why I don't see it in green. I can click on here and see any details but I can't delete it, I can't move it. So you're not going to accidentally delete other people's events. But what I can do to mine if I change my mind, it's very simple to make an adjustment. I can do that in a couple of ways. I can either grab the box and you know move it to another day and you'll see after a second or two that the, the laptop lab calendar catches up. I can also shrink or grow the box. And if I decide just to completely cancel, I can click on here and press delete. Okay, so that's how you uh, subscribe to the calendar and make a reservation. 
As I said before, if anything in this video was confusing to you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'd be happy to help you in person get connected to the Laptop Lab. And I hope to see lots of you making use of, the, of our amazing Laptop Lab this year. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.